Good afternoon, biology and forensics folks. Uh, hey, this is just a little video. I uh, wanted to make sure everyone knew about, uh, you know, the the new grading policy that we have. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about that everyone's on the pass-fail system and that you just have to get above a D and then, you know, you, you get a P or a pass. Um, well, some changes have been made and some of you might have heard of this, some of you might not, but I want to make sure everyone understood what was going on is that you can petition uh, to get your actual letter grades in all of your classes. Uh, and you have to kind of decide, are you going to do it all your classes or are you going to go with the pass fail? You can't necessarily decide, you know, I'm going to do forensics and biology and not do this or that. Um, but uh, the petition form is going to be made available uh, online. Um, when I get it, I'll throw it out to you guys on Google Classroom and things so that you have that. Uh, but this is an opportunity for a lot of you because, you know, a lot of you, uh, it's been a mix. Some of your grades have gone down, but a lot of you, your grades have gone up. And, and you want to get those grades and have those uh, grades. You want to take a look at all your classes and, uh, and kind of determine whether that's for you. But the little petition form isn't hard to fill out. Uh, it, uh, it's, it's a really actually simple. And then you would, um, return that to CMR. Um, and it says on there how you return it and things like that. But, uh, whether it's, I, I think you can scan it or email or do whatever. So, uh, but anyway, that's something to start thinking about. You know, this is, uh, for some of you, you know, you got to think about things like, you know, scholarships and GPAs and, and this is an opportunity for a lot of you, you know, to improve your GPA and keep in mind, you know, that, a 2.0 means that you have all C's. A 3.0 means you have all B's. And a 4.0 means you have all A's. Well, if you're looking at your grades and you have a 2 point something GPA and, you know, you're getting better grades now and you got B's and A's, then you probably want to do this and improve your GPA. Uh, and so not get that pass or fail mark and, you know, uh, get those letter grades. So something to think about, uh, you know, when it comes up scholarship times, in the years to come, things like this, and, and just a means of, you know, personal, you know, satisfaction to, to know that you did that and got through that and did well. So um, for others, you know, that's something you wanna look at and you wanna stick with the pass fail. And the pass fail is the um, kind of default mode. That's what everyone's gonna get unless you petition to get your letter grade. So, uh, you know, something to take a look at. It'll be coming out here soon. Uh, the actual paperwork for that. It's like a one-page little thing that you fill out. So uh, be looking for that. And like I said, I'll, I'll send that out to you. But something that some of you want to think about, you know, one thing I thought about the other day was even like car insurance. You, you get a nice, a lot of places give you a nice little break on car insurance if you have a 3.0 or above GPA. Well, if this is helping your GPA out, then maybe you want to get those grades uh, that you're getting right now. Um, the other thing is, that there's still time in the semester to improve your grades. And so if you're saying, oh gosh, well, maybe I should do this. You know what, like I, I've opened up and most teachers have, the there really isn't due dates, you can go back, you can finish things. So maybe it's time to kind of buckle down and get yourself um, where you need to be and then petition to get those grades back. So, uh, you know, something to think about. I just wanted to throw it out to you guys. Uh, you know, kind of an important message there. So if you can pass it along, that probably everybody should take a look at this. Um, you know, in my biology and forensics and other places so that you can, you know, even other kids, if you want to send it along, it's just fine. So anyway, uh, you know, I hope that most of you, if the, if your grades help you, that you're petitioning to get those grades back because you deserve it. You deserve the, the effort and work that you got in that class. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll talk to you later. Hunker down. You guys take care.